Our in-depth coverage continues now with more on those from our neck of the woods who made the trip today to exercise their rights. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke with some of them and has those interviews new tonight. Kim? Well, Jared, we spoke with multiple Rhode Islanders who made their way up to Boston. All of those we spoke with there for the counter protests, and all of them agreed it was a powerful demonstration that they all felt was peaceful and positive. Thousands of counter protesters in the streets of Boston. I've never seen nothing like that in a long time. Gary Dantzler of Black Lives Matter of Rhode Island went with a group of about 150 people, hoping to show those partaking in a so called free speech rally billed as a gathering for conservatives and traditionalists that any displays of hate would not be tolerated. They heard our voices, it was loud and clear. The free speech rally disbanded early on, leaving behind the sea of counter protesters. Kimberly Gomes and Maya Jaguer among them. Gare capturing this video of counter protesters burning the Confederate flag. I smelled smoke and I saw everyone was like screaming, so I just kind of followed. And everyone was just so angry because of everything that's been going on that I think burning the flag was probably really therapeutic. There were scuffles between counter protesters and police and arrests, but those we spoke with say it was a peaceful experience. I felt so comfortable free walking around the commons. It was healthy and kind and conscientious and People were just wonderful to be around. We were worried that we would have to confront a large population of white supremacists, but instead we were surrounded by um, just this incredible variety of people. We reached Casey Seymour Kim by phone as she returned from Saturday's rally. There was a nice Rhode Island presence. We ran into a number of Rhode Islanders there. And that was really kind of wonderful. Seymour Kim and others at the protests heartened by those standing up for what they believe in and pushing back against hate. We outnumber them. We just have to make sure our voices are heard. And many of the people that we spoke with today say they felt a great sense of camaraderie up in Boston. They also say they felt like they were witnessing history firsthand. Live in studio, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.